this moment to arise. You Let's be honest here. Every single one of us have experienced other people telling us what to do and putting pressure on us. But answer one question for me. Isn't it better to simply express yourself and be responsible for the decisions that you make? Let's talk about self-expression. What is it? It is known to be a display of individuality for a number of ways, including words, clothing, hairstyle, or art forms. Self-expression teaches us to see, listen, think, and most importantly, process various ideas. From that, we can embrace what we perceive differently. So how does self-expressionism be benefit our everyday life, you may ask? First, you gain a courage and a space to share your views without judgment. You can speak out and have a voice and not be judged for how you feel. You can reveal your inner thoughts. You can talk about what is bothering you and what you aspire to create. So what does it mean to be self-expressed? Being self-expressed, like spreading your thoughts and opinions about a movie that you just watched, means that people will see your inner character and your, and your true spirit. Sharing yourself is vital for peace, happiness, and fulfillment. Sometimes we're not sure how to access creativity or unsure how to express ourselves. One of the ways towards self-expression is speaking your truth in the moment. Now kids, they have the natural ability to live in the moment, fully self-expressed. They're not yet tainted by the heaviness of life, like having to do with worrying about what other people think, living up to social pressures or fear of retribution. Sometimes we can hear children saying things like, hey, why don't you just stand up to mom when she makes you feel bad? All they understand is tell the naked truth. Children have an ability to tell people how they feel in the way of not worrying about the well-being of their relationships and said. Growing up, I was always a kid who would speak more than what they needed to. I was always happy, outgoing, and wasn't scared to state my opinions. Once I entered school, that was the place where my confidence started to ease. I guess I was so used to working alone that teamwork was somewhat strange to me. A few years ago was the time when I became quiet and shy, opposite to the state of living I was before entering school. I wasn't able to express my thoughts and feelings since I thought that they wouldn't mean anything to the people around me. I started realizing that without expressing myself, I wouldn't go find my future life. As time went on, I learned to express myself and not to be ashamed to state my opinions. I knew that in my upcoming life, I will need skills for making decisions. That is why I switched schools. There, I found friends that now changed my life. They taught me to not be scared and at last be yourself, which really helped me and made me up and up. Self-expression might seem intimidating because of fear of confrontation or lack of confidence. But did you know that not stating your truths and opinions in the moment can, be, can cause depression, and we all know where it can lead to? We can partly achieve self-expression by widely defining ourselves. When we think about ourselves, we tend to think in an unprofessional way about our skills, strengths, and talents. We narrowly define ourselves, meaning that we live life from a certain way of thinking and being, which limits our experiences in life. For example, daring to do something that would benefit the humanity, like a TED speech. It is important to explore new ways of thinking and being and discovering that you have talents and passions you never knew existed. For instance, just a few years ago, I realized that I have a huge passion for singing in a choir. I really enjoy it there, since I get time to do what I love and escape from the worrying about school. Moving on, when we engage in creative techniques, we develop ideas and create new possibilities for our life, which includes various innovations. For instance, we can develop new creative ideas by joining a science club in our early ages. Some of the creative techniques include writing daily about anything that's on your mind, keeping an idea book that you can carry with you, using mind maps for creative problem solving, brainstorming and creating vision boards. These are all only the beginnings of you expressing your thoughts and together yourself. Acquiring self-knowledge and knowing who we are helps our self-expression. Not many of us take time from our busy schedules to become an observer of our own life and who we are. I know I can relate. We get so bogged down in daily activities that days, months, years fly by. It is important for your well-being to just step back from your life and see whether you're truly happy, fulfilled, using your talents and pursuing your passions. Last spring, at the end of the school year, I became so busy trying to keep my grades high for school that I realized that I don't spend enough time discovering myself. Is that good? The answer is simple, no. Developing a keen sense of reality is important to our self-expression. We must think and work something that is not working for us and then try to make a positive change. For instance, after some kind of test, the majority of my class fe feel like we will be getting a free 
But however, when the real test results come and the grade turns out to be decent, we don't to improve our mistakes, which we should do, to change. Having faith and trusting that things will work out for the better, even though initially you may feel uncomfortable, is important to our self-expression. Full self-expression means to take a leap of faith when necessary, live life to the fullest, make the choices that fulfill our wants and desires, and not settling for anything less than what we deserve. And so now, I'm standing in front of you, taking a big step into expressing myself to the people I mostly don't know. My life would be boring knowing that I live it without taking risks or challenges. Be brave, take risks, nothing can substitute your experience, says Paulo Coelho, the writer of a famous book, The Alchemist. Public speaking was never my strength, but I'm happy to dare to speak in front of such a big audience and have a voice which might inspire people. Before ending my speech, I would like all of you to look at your life in a different way. I would like all of you to remember that it is good to be yourself and you shouldn't be like everyone else is. You should create your own path of life, follow it and self-express yourself. Thank you for listening.